When I was in primary school, I was literally one of the only black people in my class. And when I would come in with my African hairstyles or my cultural like clothes or something like that on non-uniform day, it would be like, I'd be ridiculed because of it. And now I know I don't have to be afraid, even though I may live in a less diverse area, because here these kinds of things are celebrated. September when our year sevens join and I look at them and I think what just an amazing group of young people you know from such a diverse range of backgrounds I always talk about if you can't see yourself somewhere then it really is hard to feel as if you're being represented um, properly. Um, but at Coptal um, we're doing lots of work around our curriculum and I know that lots of schools up and down the country are doing that as well. So I think if you get your curriculum right, if you get your ethos and culture right, then actually young people can begin to feel as if they are part of a school, part of a community and actually feel really represented. If you are um, a student from a different background and you see that um, like science or whatever subject you're studying is really inclusive then you'll feel more motivated and inspired to um, like learn in that subject, go forward and like be um, ambitious in that subject. At Coptal, we don't just focus on Black History Month in a silo. Uh, we make sure that our curriculum, every day, every lesson, there is an opportunity for our diverse community to see themselves in the curriculum. So, for example, in the Spanish curriculum, uh, very early on they learn how to talk about their nationality. And the textbook is very restrictive in that it tells you how to say words like English, Spanish, Scottish, Irish and Welsh. Um, but kids in my classroom, they come from Afghanistan, they come from the Philippines, they come from, um, uh, they come from Ghana and all these other countries that the textbook hasn't bothered to tell them how to, how to say in Spanish. So we do a whole lesson on which countries would we like to know how to say in Spanish? What kind of nationalities do we have in this classroom? And let's celebrate them. I think it's really important for the students to see teachers or um, individuals in, in positions of authority or in positions of leadership because then especially when those teachers or you know the 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 individuals look like themselves because then there's something for them to um, connect to if that makes sense I feel very proud of being in such an exclu um, inclusive school um, I think that being part of it, I'm also able to represent those values and that diversity and that people who, maybe younger students, maybe who are like being um, discriminated against, they'll be able to see us and know that they are accepted and that there's nothing wrong. It's actually beautiful to be different and our school accepts that. People just need to walk in the door and they walk around and they just say, wow, what an amazing school. You know, diverse in terms of the girls, diverse in terms of staff, diverse in terms of governance. Um, we're not the finished article, but we're heading in the right direction.